So there are these Would You Rather videos trending right now, which I'm sure you've seen, and I figured I could automate these types of videos pretty easily using Python. I wasn't originally going to make another one of these videos, but after seeing how well my last one did, I figured I could milk this topic for some more views. Anyway, onto the video. Firstly, I opened up my Python folder and made a new script called Would You Rather. Then I wrote some code to take input from the user. Now you can enter two topics to put into a Would You Rather video. But right now, there isn't much of a video, so the first thing I did was run the user input for a text-to-speech program. Originally, I didn't want to use Eleven Labs because it's insanely expensive, but they do have a free plan, and although it's very limited, I figured it would work fine since I won't use it too much. Also, the voice you hear in every single one of these Would You Rather videos is an Eleven Labs voice, so I didn't really have much of a choice. After getting the text-to-speech working, I moved on to work on the video. I created this template to use in Photoshop, then added music into the background to make it more engaging. Then I exported this and dragged it into my project so that my Python script could access it. What my script does with this video is calculate how long the video needs to be based off the text-to-speech audio then grabs as much of my template as it needs. The next thing to do was create the text for the video to put next to the images. This was pretty easy, I used an AI called Whisper that can analyse the text to speech we generated and figure out where to put the subtitles. From there we can simply display them on the video where they need to be. After that I needed to add images. This was harder than I originally thought because I didn't want to have to manually choose the images every time. Instead I wanted my Python script to automatically grab images from the internet to save time. To do this I added a library to my script that can get images from Bing and before you ask I tried using Google's version of this but it wasn't working for some reason. What the library does is just automatically search up images that match the topics in the video, which works great. Then, to put the images into the video, I just copied the code that adds the text in, but replaced the text with the images so it appears at the same time. This all worked great, so I moved on to adding the results you see at the end of these videos. Firstly, I added some audio of a ticking clock and a ding sound effect right after the images are shown. Then I added some more text to the video of two percentages, which are completely random by the way. After adding this, the video was pretty much complete, but it was taking ages to render, so I had to make a few optimizations, and after that it was working great. Here's a demo of it. Would you rather subscribe to my channel or reject the offer. Wow, that's really cool and I'm happy with how this turned out. Anyway, thanks for watching and thank you all so much for the amount of support on my last video. I'm going away on holidays for a month tomorrow, but don't worry, I've pre-recorded a bunch of Unity devlogs for a project that I've been working on that will be uploaded while I'm away. If that sounds interesting to you, then make sure to subscribe. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.